But I would argue, Ray, that our rules are based, they're not, you, they're not, they cannot ever be, our rules for writing can never be based on what is universal. No, they can't. And, they and so what I'm saying is, you know, for example, uh, the famous example of we have the, um, the, the system of reference that we say by default. In other words, if I don't write anything different, by default, if the system of reference is the standard system of reference, right? Okay. But in other culture, and that probably is because, because in, for whatever reason, we are oriented that way. Or maybe it came up because they decided that was the easiest thing way to reference direction in, in dance when, when we, they were deciding which should be the default system. But Aborigines, this is what uh, the, this, uh, what's her name, Farnell? Mm -hmm. Do you know who she is? Brenda Farnell. Brenda Farnell, and she yes. says, and she says that the Aborigines orient in space. So if you were designing the system from their point of view, then uh, or using and and what you were mainly doing is, is is notating Aboriginal dance, and that was that. Then then the when the default system or the de system of reference would be the constant cross. And whenever we wanted to make <coughs> something different because it suited our genre that we were working in, then we would glossarize it. Do you see what I'm saying? But that's, what, that's what we do already. Well, well I we, know, but our system, I know, but I'm saying when we make a rule, like we keep saying, well, it's Sandra, we keep saying, yes, Janos wants it to be thus and thus because it's based on his need for Hungarian dance, but it's different in modern, in, when we're it's, writing modern it's, dance. It's fine. But what I'm saying is when we design a rule, should it be the rules be designed? for a modern dance and ballet because that's the way we're mainly notating. You can't have a rule that cuts across culture. You so what should can't. be the culture that we are writing for? The genre that's, we're writing well, we're for? Supposed to under, well, ideally you're supposed to understand the culture that you're writing for, but, but of course that's the, impractical in the world that we live in as notators. That's right, but, that's but we have to have to a default can't make a gloss. I I disagree. How can you make a default then trying to fit every cultural dance or modern dance of ballet into you that frame? Can't. Well, you, we, you, sh you should have you, you should have flexibilities of. Doing I'm not saying there shouldn't be flexibility. I'm saying we have rules that say when unless I write something different when I write a direction sign or when I write whatever if I don't say if I don't say in my glossary or put an asterisk or whatever it is I do this symbol means interpreted according to standard cross of axis and that is the default rule that we use in the system and then if I'm going to write outside and use a different, then I have to glossarize it. Right. So I'm saying for when we design our rules and we're just saying, well, we're going to use, you, we're going to have the, the, the foot thing, the foot hook be at the beginning of the direction symbol or at the end of the direction symbol and where the direction symbol goes on the staff. We have to have an agreed a map of an agreed default rule, right? Because otherwise, every time you write a score, you're going to have to write a rule book. Do you see? So I, that, I all right. So, like that was, for example, the problem with Billy, one of the problems that Billy Mahoney kept saying. She says, well, in tap dancing, I need thus and thus. And we say, well, tap dancing is not the main the, the main reason we're writing the dance. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. As a criteria. Yeah, but then you, that that way you kind of rule out a lot of things like you know, okay, that we say Laban notation is the system that can notate all sorts of movements. It can. It can. 
because it's not like Banish where apparently they just have a set of rules and there are no other ways of changing. We say when you read a score and I haven't given you a glossary and I haven't done anything else, this is, we, we understand that you should read those symbols this way. And then if you're writing for another, and we'll have a different intent or a different dance style, you can glossarize. And that's what is possible in law of annotation and makes it a more universal system. But the default cannot be universal. It can never be right. universal. Okay. So what genre are we going to design the rule for where the hook is going to be? That's very easy to design <laughs> because... We pride ourselves on Lava notation being very visual, and that's what I love about it. So that when you read a score and the touch sign is at the end of a symbol, is because it means it comes at the end of the movement visually. Well, that's and another. If you move it somewhere else visually, it's not correct. It's being written because of a rule. Yeah, I know. So talking, talking, talking. What do you think? <laughs> Try to investigate it, and uh, the article was published in the last legal proceedings. That, from the point of visual criteria, <coughs> all the same that which way of notating you select, there is always a contradiction which you cannot solve. So, there are three criteria that the hook should express the moment of contact, the hook should be at the end of the the direction symbol, right. and uh, what was the third? I don't know. That that and all the three criteria. Yeah, the direction symbol should express the timing of the movement, and the three couldn't be meet in any of the way of notating. The, this, these. Yes, that one. Yes, exactly. Please. Yes, yes, that's three. Yeah. So we have to decide that which of our fingers should be. Right. So, <laughs> and, uh, so, so that that it means it means nothing else. We have to use conventions. Right. And then we should decide that which convention to use. So what we are saying with Gabor Michi is that we shouldn't change anything. We shouldn't throw away anything. We should keep the exact timing because without exact time we cannot really investigate movement. Except timing is for the deep analysis and the, well, not unit timing because I, I have problems with the term of unit timing, but the expressing the rhythm is another way of using the system. And there are certain dances, for example, the folk dances, the traditional dances, the ballroom dances, sometimes the ballet dances, which really need ex the uh, ability to express rhythm. And that way, that how we try to develop the way of writing is that expressing the rhythm, but in a way which can be recognized easily. Because exact time is not so easy to recognize. So the average dancer and those, the, the, the teachers, the students, the dancers, my experience is that they are thinking in this, this uh, units, right. rhythmical units, and for them it's very evident notating in these rhythmical units. For us, three notators, it's all the same. For us, I think exact time is even better because we immediately can see. But it's not about us. It's about how the system can be used generally more by more and more people. But aren't you suggesting? And I'm I'm playing devil's advocate here because I, you know, but but um, if if aren't as I understand it, you're suggesting that the placement of the hook for showing where you touch is is should be optional, and then yes. if you want to make it be that the foot comes off the ground, in other words, to have a transient touch that you would either, or that it doesn't come off the ground, if it comes out, that you would make the release sign. Isn't that a change in the rules so that, again, playing devil's advocate, if you read Billy Mahoney's scores, 
without this new rule, you would be misinterpreting. You, you know, you say you're changing the rules because without that release sign in the past, putting the, sim the hook in the middle of the symbol would mean that it, the foot is, it comes off the ground. So isn't that a change in the rules? <laughs> well, at the moment, there is no proposal. So the whole thing is just investigation. Okay. That, but, but we said in that article, it's not a proposal, but you can notate the same movement three different ways. That is not a proposal. You just, uh, you cannot, you cannot, uh, it, you cannot allow it for the system. So we are just investing. You cannot what it for the system? Allow. allow. You, you cannot allow it, yes. So not it the same way, three different ways. Yes. In, in the, in the, when we are talking of time, because it's not allowed. Right. So we have to select one. So it is just a way, just a progress, that we start to investigate everything from different points. Okay. And then if you follow uh, that that road we started, that way we started, now we got that. So actually, <coughs> Billy is a very good example because uh, the most, the sharpest debate is between her and, and this approach. Right. And in this conference in Budapest, she gave, she gave me her notations of this, you know, this, this uh, yeah. step dancing. Right. And it turned out that she is clearly mixing the two way of uh, the unit timing and exact timing. When it is a terminating touch, she used consequently the unit timing. But it was a, uh, what is the passing, passing uh, contact? What yes. The for the term, uh, Sliding. No. Transition. Passing contact. That she was using exact timing. In the same score. In, in, the, in okay. the next bar. Interesting. <coughs> and that it was... Well, once you know her convention, you can read it clearly. Right. But you have to know her convention. It was an excellent notation. I had no problem with that. Right. Except she was very, how would you say, uh, arbitrary changing the time. Yes. Yes. You can do that. But it's, it, as you said, authorize it. Right, right. What did you, what were you going to oh, say? Oh, no, I'm going to ask have you read Sheila Marion's tap dance dictionary? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, uh, Sheila, Sheila was saying that, but, but, uh, Billy? Billy, Billy is using, is, uh, Billy was using a simple contact. Sheila was using passing sliding. And from that point, it was an exact notation. And this is how I was thinking the whole movement of that it was a passing sliding, Billy denies it, but in Sheila's notation it was a passing sliding. So? Right, okay. Right, they, right. we under, talked about that. understanding of the movement, that yeah. was the point. Okay. Right, right, that's, a whole, that's another issue. Mm -hmm.